Okay, guys, welcome back to another episode of CK2, the the My HRV, where I am playing as the guy of Augustine of Shredded James. And today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be trying to fabricate claims and make sure this guy has babies. Although he has a really high chance for babies. Like, seriously, this guy, at, at the base stats, since I can't apparently do my ambition right now, which is annoying me, he still has a base stats of around 40%. So he should be able to be with child here at some point. But let me make sure my wife's not chast. Oh, she's lustful too. Oh, that's even better. So yeah, these two should make babies. I'm just waiting for that event to fire. And for the rest of the, for the rest of the realm, for the rest of the realm, now we're gonna look around and see what kind of is happening in the world. We have, you know, the Count of Udo of Lenin. Who's the leads of this guy? Who's the leads of this guy? This is the guy we actually care about. King Ludwigson, a Ludwig, the second, the German of East Francia. Why do we care so much about this guy? Because he's our king, man. And the king knows all. And right now we are nowhere near the uh, nowhere near the succession line. Because as you guys know, if you have played CK2, there is you know kingdoms and successions and wars for successions and all these kind of cool stuff. But since we are, my wife is pregnant, yay! But since we are basically, you know, you know, just a lonely count, they don't really care about us. One of those situations where you didn't want to tell the truth in case it would hurt the person, but in the same honesty as a virtue. Oh shoot, so do I want to become deceitful? Or, well, okay, do I want to hurt my intrigue or do I want to hurt my diplomacy? Um... Going back, oh gosh, my intrigue is slightly higher, but I like both. Is that an option where I just don't choose either? Um, opposite opinion, it's still going to affect me. Um, let's make this guy honest. This guy, this guy is seriously, oh shoot, it didn't do it, yes! Never mind, this guy is totally not going to be honest. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I was thinking maybe we could do a middle route of like doing like a, uh, you know, honest, deceitful guy. I mean, that, that sounds reasonable. And, yeah, let's see, though. We do have to fabricate claims on this one guy over here. I mean, what I'm planning on doing is, eventually, once he has a son, I'm planning on, you know, doing some cool assassination things where I basically can get a claim on this county, take all his land, and once then, I should be more powerful than my liege. Who, wait, let me just get to myself. My liege right now is the Duke of Saxony. What? Hmm. The Duke of Saxony owes me right now. That I did not expect. So this is this is the Duke of Thuringia, of Thuringia, which is what I thought we owned. And then the Duke uh, is that literally the Duke of Saxony? Just that one province. This 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 the provinces below me better be a part of the Duke of Saxony. Otherwise, this guy's gonna be easy to take out. No, the Duke of Saxony is literally this one province minor over here. Oh my gosh, how, and let's see, the Duchy of Thuringia, and let's see, I'm apparently a part of a different duchy, what the heck? Oh, okay, there we go, that seems more logical, and apparently, I'm apparently not in the right duchy, hmm, okay, so let's, let's do some quick editation of that, uh, Chancellor, apparently you guys are in the wrong land, I am so sorry if you almost got a claim. Yay! Rudolph! You know what? Sure. Rudolph has apparently been, was originally your father's name. We changed it because it sounds stupid, but I guess you'll get that name, son. And I'll check if he's a genius after this. Keep on sleeping. I woke up to a table hangover this morning. Now the priest is talking with his boring voices again. I keep falling asleep here in church. Keep on sleeping, or this is not the proper, proper for a count. Well, keep on sleeping. Considering I have a lot of piety, Temple Vassal Opinion. Yeah, considering I have a lot of piety, I don't really care. But anyways, on a serious note though, we should be fabricating claims actually over here. Goodness gracious, that may not actually work because I don't think he has direct vassalage over all this land. Um, no, it just looks like most of this land is all like, huh. I'm gonna have to be really careful about this because if I don't do this correctly, 
I could possibly anger a lot of people, but let's try this. We're gonna do a fabricate claim onto Brandenburg, that way we can start gaining power in our duchy. Because apparently, this may not be our du jour duchy, but this is our duchy. So, yeah. Plus, a guy can actually hold three holdings, which I'm actually proud of him. You know, for a guy who's just a count and he can hold three holdings, that's pretty good. Also, he slept drunk in church. And owes 350 to the Jews. Hmm. Yeah, it, it probably setting up to the point where this guy doesn't like me. Actually, this guy still loves me. Like, he's still like, the bishop's like, yeah, this guy's a drunkard. This guy, like, he looks at me, he's like, yeah, this guy's a drunkard. Yeah, this guy, this guy's like a scarred emo maniac kind of person. But, you know, he went on a pilgrimage to, like, to, like, Jerusalem, and I accept him for it. And plus, I mean, he's a, just a good scholarly man. Okay, well, on a serious note, so Pedro is selling all sorts of food, clothing, exotic spices, and luxuries and jewels filled the town square with the wise and straps. Uh, there are a couple of things I need. General opinion. Um, I become shy. Don't want that. Fairs are fun for all. Kind and stressed. 50% of either. I think fairs should be banned. Oh. Please tell me I don't get stressed. Please tell me I don't get stressed. Please tell me I don't get stressed. <gasps> yes! Okay, so now this guy is a kind genius, humble, drunkard. <laughs> Man, this guy's shaping up to be such a good character. I mean, he's 17, 15, 7. I mean, I mean, he stinks at, like, mathematics, but he's pretty good about everything else. I I'll give him credit for that. And so, let's see. What I think we should actually be doing is, there's two ways you can fabricate claims. Another way is you can do plots. But I'm pretty sure I'm not allowed to do plots, because the only one I could do right now is kill this guy. Which, actually, I could probably wipe out his family dynasty very quickly. Hmm. Is there any bishops I could take? Hmm. Probably not. But that's a good idea for the future. Hmm. Now, we do need to fabricate claims under this. Hopefully. Uh, message to about to point you to receive. Uh, sure, should sure, you know, liege guy. I'll totally become like your... Your guy. Also, my liege apparently has like major issues right now. If he was to die, the Count of Bruno of Brunswick would take over. You know, that is a terrible idea. Please don't let him take over because that's a guy I'm trying to fabricate claims on because he's the only other guy that's not a bishop. I feel like if I take over the bishop, the bishop's gonna hate me and I don't want to deal with that. And it seems like there's a lot of stuff going on in, in like Frisia. I mean, what's going on over here? Is it like succession? No, Holland became free. What the heck, L Lord Thuringia? You guys are terrible at controlling your land. Like, seriously. Oh, and they even had a rebel back up. The rebels just instantly just spawned? Yes, the Hollander revolt. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that's what's going on over there. They're having some major revolt problems. Over here in my land, I'm just kind of chilling. I'm waiting for my chance to go on a feast. Um, and then I could also repay the Jews. I could also buy, um, uh, gain in height. Why would I do this? You know, a suspected murder plot. Send Hingrid into hiding, go into hiding. Why would I do this again? Oh, if I'm subjected to a plot. Hmm. Oh, 350. I see. Oh, let's host the summer fair again. Because that sounds like a good idea the first time. I like hosting the summer fair. And... Uh, if the game doesn't make me force, offer to help with Lee's title. What? Over the maximum? Oh, I see. Okay. This is suspicious. Well, considering we have a lot of good diplomacy guy right now, and we do need to get our intrigue, if this guy could get, you know, some paranoia. Yes! Alright. 16, 16. Oh, man, this is good. 16 intrigue, and a little bit of state diplomacy. So. Just imagine this guy, he's a genius that is a humble, kind, paranoid drunkard. This guy sounds like he would be, you know, one of the best people to talk to about conspiracy theories. Like, I swear he would be able to give you an educated remark about why our government, or whatever government you're a part of, is, the, is conspiring with like the Illuminati or something. 
I could just see it right now with him. Just see it. Okay, and let's see. Our guy right now, he has a stutter. You know? I gained some prestige, thank you, but... You know, I've had... I would like to say this. I don't know why my children have stutters. Makes me kind of feel like... I feel bad, but Pope though will hear our plea for salvation. I don't really want to do that. I do want to go on a grand hunt at some point. But I have to wait until January of 15... What? Wait, what? Until January 1453, given the following effects. Wait, why can I go on a hunt? Health traits fewer than one. Hmm. Apparently, I have some health issues. Probably for me being a drunkard, right? Probably for me. And apparently one of the Cardinals just died. But probably from being a drunkard, if I'm guessing correctly. Yeah, it's probably that. <laughs> So, but, I'm a pleasure in life hedonism. At this point in life, I don't really need another. I would need one daughter just so I can easily get this guy in the line. Because actually, you know, thinking about this logically, what we should do... Oh, those troublesome peasants. Curses. I don't need him to hate me yet. Bear it, store. Okay, my spouse Curtis has humiliated me. She kissed her lover in public, and now everyone knows about their adulterous affair. What? Wow. Arrest her lover? Wilhelm is in prison. Arrest her. Or arrest both of them. Oh, oh wait a minute. It, Wilhelm? My court chaplain. Is that my... Don't tell me that's my bishop. Okay, good. <laughs> but that is my court chaplain... You, who is all the way in Rome right now, is sleeping with my wife back here in my land. You know, I gotta give you props for somehow being able to teleport, but at the same time, I'm going to have to do something to you. Because you have disgraced me, and I don't like the fact being of, of being disgraced. So, Wally, Wilhelm, bye-bye. And there was absolutely no one to replace him. Shoot. Okay. That was not something I expected. But we now got somebody in our dungeon. Let's go check out the prisoners. Uh, we could banish him. Uh, he's now... He, we could now execute him if we really wanted to. I mean, it would cause us some piety, but we are totally justified in our reasoning for banishing him. And apparently a princess of Germany had just gone in jail for some particular reason. Um, I'm not really thinking, I can't, I already know from experience that usually the German lines will not, well, the kingly lines will not accept a lowly count's admission into the kingdom until he has like seven or eight children. Like, you'll be able to get like the eighth or ninth child to be able to wed you, but right now I do not particularly have that ability. So what I just gotta do is just make sure this guy stays unwed, which apparently he's very happy of doing. Wait until this guy dies. You know, make sure that I married off my... My, uh... Future... I'm hoping I have a future, uh... You know, child of... Good age. A future... What is, what is the word I'm thinking of? It's the opposite of a male. A female! Yes! Well, not, maybe not necessarily opposite. No, I'll just keep it that. Opposite, opposite male, female. Okay? And basically what we're going to have to do is if I have one female now. Alright, yes. I actually improve stewardship. Become king of France. That's probably not. Yeah, have a daughter, please. Thank you. That way, this guy literally has, like, the best modifiers in the entire game. He better have a stupid child. Plus, his wife is lustful. And he's a, she's apparently tutoring people, which is I guess okay with me because I don't really have children yet so good for you wifey only get as many children as you can so that well tutor as many children as you can because we're gonna need practice when you actually get to our real children which I'm pretty sure I could besides for my I think my child well underhand grow that'd be really nice I think I'm gonna have my child be taught by my wife because we could get some diligent humble and kind the only thing and honestly my wife is not bad at all I mean I mean, we probably won't get some gray eminences this time around, and apparently we're at war with Lotharingia. Shoot, I wasn't paying attention to our realm. What, what the heck is happening right now? 
Okay, um, give me one second, people. Let me just pause it. Um, ah, uh, ah, uh, phone, stupid. Okay, we are back, and it's a little bit off the date, but honestly, the King Lewis and created the Duchy of Baden. Well, good for you, Kingy. I'm glad you guys are having good relations. Now, for me, though, I'm. I'm thinking the best way I'm go. Oh, goodness gracious, look at that beard, guys. I just became an old man. Shoot, can. I, I would love. I would say shave it, but he looks so awesome in that beard. I just can't. Can't bring myself to do it. Um, anyways, though, it doesn't seem like this guy is giving us any chance of getting any kind of claims, which is kind of annoying me. So, what I think we might do is make sure that our, you know, next door... Ooh, wow. Is maybe try improving claims over here? And see if we get anywhere. I mean, I honestly don't know if we'll get anywhere, but we'll try. We'll try. And apparently there's some revolts going up in East France here where they're having... Revolt problems. Yeah, this is this is definitely a revolt to try to do what? What are you guys fighting for? Uh, attacking King of the... For the lower crown authority. Wow. Well, oh yeah, Aquitaine hasn't formed with France yet. So, yeah, they actually have a good chance. If they do that, they can actually do it. Now, let's see the rest of the world. How's the rest of the world doing? Eh, it's still like the beginning of the game, so everyone's still about the same, but... In our kingdom, we have Lu our king of Ludwig II still alive. He's looking quite uh, old. And we have apparently have approved a limited crown authority. Which, I guess, is good. Yeah? <laughs> I mean, crown authority holds the summer fair. Now, apparently, I can't hold feasts or grand puns, which makes me mad. But apparently, I can hold fairs, which are just as good. And, you know what, yeah, Bishop's Opinion can be good for me. I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. And, basically, what we have to do is we have to figure out... Well, we have to just basically wait until we have a way to, like, get into this guy's dynasty. Um, through some... Well, he's... Oh, well, oh that's how the relation... Oh, dang it, he has a wife now. Can I kill him now? Oh wow, this guy has lots of people who want him dead. Does people want her dead? Yes, people want her dead. And just to make sure that we, like, make sure that she, you know, does die, I'm going to make sure that I just keep killing all his wives before they, that sounds terrible, before they ever, like, have children. Because if I can make sure this guy's heir is always this guy, I can always make sure I control this guy. So, yes, that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be killing this proud, tough, soldier, kind, diligent, zealous man. Wow, we have three traits in the same. We must be so loving each other. Like, what is the opinion of me? Yeah, we, we like, love each other. We're like, yeah, buddies to the end. Too bad you, your wife has to die. I'm, I'm sorry. And, well, she's not even... Uh, she's got a mediocre stats, too. I mean, she's temperate, craven, cynical... Why would you... Mm, I shouldn't judge. I really should not judge people and their meriting types. Because I know people do not marry off of logic. And if people actually did marry off of logic, then what would be the point? Okay. Now, let's just go back to our dynasty then and just, like, sit here and wait for the plot to fire. Because sometimes it could take years for this plot to fire. Oh, or it could take literally two seconds until I become either a deceitful or craven or honest man. And again, like I said, I'm going to be going with my original statement of I like being honest. It really is a cool trait, so honest or deceitful, but then again, that two the dang it, they're both even now, so I can't really balance them out. Okay. Well, honest man. Yeah! Still didn't get it. Good. And King Bavaria has made the King of East Francia his primary title. So are we Oh, I see. He just inherited Barbaria. Okay. So now our king is a double king. So now he owns two titles. That's good for him. But if he dies right now, this would be very terrible for him at the same time. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I got this completely wrong. He died, and now his... Hmm. Okay. Well, can, I, can I arrange this? Wait, wait. Because I literally, like... I, I know this is, like, soon, but... Oh, my... 
Oh, oh totally, we're doing this. Okay. Ah, oh, dang it, just when I just... Just when it was about to get good, that had to happen. So, I guess next time, people, you, we will be putting the plan into action. I don't think you guys get what I mean, but we're going to be putting a plan into action where we basically go and kill off every single one of our king's children until she's the one that inherits it. It sounds like a big, gigantic task, but I'm pretty sure we could do it. So, wait until the next episode, people. I want to thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.